The F-15B Strike Eagle fighter became the first aircraft to show compatibility with the B-61-12 nuclear gravity bomb. After a series of flight tests reportedly met Washington's performance and safety standards, Sputnik News released. Sandia National Laboratories announced on Monday, August 6, 2020 that the U.S. Air Force's F-15E Strike Eagle had successfully completed a demonstration of the complete weapons system in March 2020 showing the F-15E had a match for B-61-12 bomb installations. The B-61-12 replica stayed in the air for about 55 seconds before descending and landing itself on a dry lake sprinkling clouds of desert dust from 40 to 50 feet from the specified impact area, according to the release. Another successful test was carried out from a height of 1,000 feet. We can test the B-61-12 through all operational phases and we have very high confidence that the B-61-12 is compatible with the F-15E Strike Eagle, Stephen Samuels. Manager on the Sandia B61-12 system team, said in a laboratory news release. This is a real deal, minus the nuclear package. This test brings together years of planning, design, analysis, testing, and qualifications to demonstrate the B61-12 fully matches the Eagle F-15E strike adding that the test meets all requirements both in performance and safety. Sandia is one of three research and development laboratories under the U.S. National Nuclear Safety Administration NNSA. This laboratory handles design and engineering for non-nuclear components of U.S. nuclear stockpiles. The f 15 b 12 bomb suitability test comes as part of the B61-12 Life Extension Program to Renew reuse or replace all nuclear and non-nuclear bomb components to extend the service life of B-61 for at least 20 years. NNSA has stated that the first renewed nuclear gravity bomb will be produced in fiscal year 2022. B-61-12 is estimated to be 12 feet long and has a mass of 825 pounds. B61-12 is scheduled to be certified for U.S. Air Force B-2 strategic bombers F-16C, D fighter jets and F-35 Lightning II. Sputnik reported last month that the update of the F-35 Block IV which was expected to integrate nuclear gravity bombs into the repertoire of stealth fighter aircraft, had been delayed for about nine months pushing full production levels back in the September 2020 and March 2021 timeframes. The release of the Government Accountability Office on this issue detailed that the increase, which was originally expected to cause an initial cost increase of $8 billion, is now estimated to total a total of about $13.9 billion in development and procurement costs. The United States which currently spends around $1.5 trillion to modernize its nuclear forces, is believed to have 20 B-61-12 bombs on a German base. For the sake of comparison, Washington estimates that Moscow has spent around $28 billion in nuclear modernization efforts. It remains unclear whether the U.S. will renew the new strategic weapons reduction agreement which will end on February 5, 2021. The F-15E Strike Eagle is an all-weather multi-role fighter, sent from McDonnell Douglas F-15 Eagle. The F-15E was designed in 1980 for long-term, unlimited high-speed on escort or electronic warplanes. The United States Air Force USAF F-15E Strike Eagle can be distinguished from other U.S. Eagle variants by camouflage fuel and conformal fuel tanks installed along the intake engine. Eagle Strike has been deployed in Operation Desert Storm, Operation Allied Forces, Operation Enduring Freedom, and Operation Odyssey Dawn to carry out attacks involving high targets air combat patrols, and provide close air support for coalition forces. The Boeing F-15E Strike Eagle was launched in 1985 and flew on December 11, 1986. 
The F-15E Eagle Strike was introduced to the United States Air Force USAF in April 1988. The F-15E was also provided by the Saudi Arabian Air Force, Israel, South Korea and also Singapore. F-15E Saudi Arabia's F-15SA, Israel is F-15I, South Korea's F-15K, and Singapore's F-15SG. The F-15E's deep strike mission is a radical departure from the original intent of the F-15 since it was designed as an air superiority fighter under the spell not a pound for air to ground. Basic airframe, however, proved versatile enough to produce a very capable strike fighter. The F-15E, while designed for ground attacks retains the air-to-air -air lethality of the F-15 and can defend itself against enemy aircraft. The F-15E prototype was a modification of the two-seat F-15B. Despite its origins, it includes significant structural changes as well as more powerful engines. The F fuselage was designed to incorporate the more powerful engines with advanced engine base structures and doors, which incorporates super plastic forming and diffusion bonding technologies. The back seat is equipped for a weapon systems officer WSO, to work the air to ground avionics via multiple screens. These view the radar, electronic warfare, or thermographic cameras, monitor aircraft or weapon status and possible threats, select targets, and use an electronic moving map to navigate. Two hand controls are used to select new displays and to refine targeting information. Displays can be moved from one screen to another using a menu of display options. Unlike previous two-place jets, the F-14 Tomcat and Navy variants of the F-4, whose back seat omitted flying controls. The F-15E's back seat is equipped with its own stick and throttle so the WSO can take over flying, albeit with reduced visibility. For extended range, the F-15E is fitted with two conformal fuel tanks CFTs that hug the fuselage to produce lower drag than conventional underwing, underbelly drop tanks. They carry 750 US gallons 2,800 out of fuel, and house six weapons hardpoints and two rows of three in tandem. Unlike conventional drop tanks, CFTs cannot be jettisoned. Thus the increased range is offset by the increased drag and weight compared to a clean, a configuration. Similar tanks can be mounted on the F-15C, D and export variants. The Israeli Air Force makes use such tanks on their F-15 fighters as well as their F-15I Strike Eagles. However, the F-15E variants are the only variants routinely fitted with CFTs. The Tactical Electronic Warfare System TUS, integrates all countermeasures on the craft radar warning receivers, radar jammer, radar, and chap flare dispensers are all tied to the TUS to provide comprehensive defense against detection and tracking. This system includes an externally mounted ALQ-131 ECM pod which is carried on the centerline pylon when required. The MIDS fighter data link terminal produced by Bay Systems improves situational awareness and communications capabilities via the Link 16 data link. The APG-70 radar allows crews to detect ground targets from longer ranges. One feature is that after a sweep of a target area, the crew may freeze the air-to-ground map then switch to air-to-air -air mode to scan for aerial threats during air-to-surface weapon delivery. The pilot is capable of detecting, targeting, and engaging air-to-air -air targets while the WSO designates ground targets. Its inertial navigation system uses a laser gyroscope to continuously monitor the aircraft's position and provide information to the central computer and other systems, including a digital moving map in both cockpits. The low-altitude navigation and targeting infrared for night LANTIRN, system is mounted externally under the engine intakes. It allows the aircraft to fly at a low altitude at night and in any weather conditions to attack ground targets with a variety of precision-guided and unguided weapons. 
The LANTIRN system gives the F-15E exceptional accuracy in weapons delivery day or night and in poor weather, and consists of two pods attached to the exterior of the aircraft. At night, the video picture from the LANTIRN can be projected on the head-up display, HUD producing an infrared image of the ground. An underside view of an F-15E Strike Eagle with landing gear down the inner AAQ-13 navigation pod contains a terrain-following radar which allows the pilot to safely fly at a very low altitude following cues displayed on a HUD. It also can be coupled to the autopilot to provide hands-off terrain-following capability. This pod also contains a forward-looking infrared system which is projected on the HUD typically used during nighttime or low visibility operations. The nav pod is installed beneath the right engine intake. The targeting pod contains a laser designator and a tracking system that mark an enemy for destruction as far away as 10 miles 16 kilometers. Once tracking has started, targeting information is automatically handed off to infrared homing air to surface missiles or laser guided bombs. The targeting pod is mounted beneath the left engine intake. Configurations may be either the an AAQ-14 target pod, an AAQ-28 lightning target pod, or the an AAQ-33 sniper advanced targeting pod. The F-15E carries most air-to-ground weapons in the USAF inventory. It is also armed with AIM-9 Sidewinders and AIM-120 AMRAAMs retaining the counter-air capabilities of its Eagle lineage. Being fully capable of offensive counter-air operations, like the F-15C, it also carries an internally mounted General Electric M61A 120mm cannon with 500 rounds, which is effective against enemy aircraft and soft ground targets.